everyone, this is Ivy of Science Explained. For today's video, we are going to look at how we derive equations using the triangle method. The triangle method has been really helpful for my students so that they don't need to memorize all the equations. All they need to know is the definition and from the definition they can derive the equation and they can derive more equations. So triangle method is only applicable for three variables. For example, we have a general equation of A is equal to B times C. So these are called the variables, variable A, B, and C. So we can create a triangle here. And since we have three variables, we are going to divide the triangle into three. Now, how do we plot or how do we put the letters here? So you look at B and C here. So the operation used here is multiplication and these two variables are side by side each other. So you can just put B here side by side C. And of course the remaining A, you put it here on top. So which means that if we are going to solve for A, we can just put A is equal to, and look at B here, they're side by side. So you can just put B and C. And you know that side by side means multiplication. And so what if we are going to solve for B? What would be our equation? So we're going to look for B. And as you can see here, A and C are the variables left. So the A is on top and then C is here in the bottom. So that means this is division. So A divided by C. And then if we are going to look for C, so we can just cross that C out and then we have A over B and then that will be division. So that's going to be A over B. As easy as that. Now let us apply it to a real equation. Density. What is the definition of density? It is the mass of an object per volume per unit volume. So from here, let's first assign the letters to denote these variables. So density, we can have capital D. We use capital because the small d or the lowercase d is already used for distance or displacement. So we're just going to use an uppercase d. And then mass, we're just going to use m. And then volume is v. So here it says density is equal to mass per volume. So the per here means division. So that is mass divided by volume. So if we are going to apply the triangle method here, so how do we put the letters in the triangle? Divided again by three since we have three variables. So you can have M over V. So that means M is on top. M over V. And then the remaining part is for our remaining variable, which is this um, density. So if we are going to solve for M, solve for M, so what we have here is just D and V side by side. And like we said, if they're side by side, you multiply them. So it's going to be D times V. If we are going to solve for volume, so what remains here is M or R, M, and D. And then we are going to have M divided by V, D. As easy as that. So let's have another example. Let's say Newton's law of motion. It's the second law. Um, okay, that's Newton's law. It says that um, the equation is already given. It was force is equal to mass times acceleration. So it's kind of like the same with our first example, which is A is equal to B. So you're gonna want to draw a triangle first and then divide it into three. So M and A are side by side, so you can put M and A here and F on top. So what if we are going to solve for A? So A would be equal to, and then you have F and M remaining. So you know that if one is on top and one is in the bottom, that's division. So you're going to have F divided by M. If we are going to solve for M, what would be our equation? That's correct. So you're going to divide F by A. 
It's easy, right? Yes, let's have one more example, which is power. And power is defined as the energy transferred per unit time. So we are given the definition, but how can we, um, how can we write the equation based on the definition? So we're just going to put P for power. And then it says here per unit time, that means time is um, the divisor, and then energy transferred. What is energy transferred? So actually this energy transfer is just work. So you can say work divided by time. So from there, we can further um, derive more equations. So you say here work over time, so work over time, and then P. So if we are going to calculate for work, so we have here P and T remaining. So that's going to be P times T, right? If we are going to solve for time, say I did not um, crash out W, so we have here W is on top and P is the divisor. So it will be W over P. That's it. It's really easy to use the triangle method, and this is only applicable if you have three variables. If this video has been helpful for you, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Happy learning. Bye.